आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज दिस डे इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू मतंगिनी हजरा लेड हर लाइफ फॉर द नेशनल ऑनर ड्यूरिंग क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट She was shot dead by the British Indian police in front of the Tamlu police station, Medinipur district, West Bengal, on September the 29th, 1904. Affectionately known as Gandhi Buri, meaning Old Lady Gandhi in Bengali, Matangini Hazra. was born in the small village of Hogla near Tamluk in 1869 she was married early and widowed at 18 without bearing any offspring influenced by the gandhian philosophy she became actively interested in the indian independence movement she took part in the civil disobedience movement and was arrested for breaking the salt act she was incarcerated for 6 months at behrampur jail As part of the Quit India movement, Matangini Hazra, who was 73 years old at the time, led a procession of 6000 supporters with the purpose of taking over the Tamluk police station. This was to be a step in overthrowing the British government in the district and establishing an independent Indian state. When the procession reached the outskirts of the town, they were ordered to stop by the police. As Matangini stepped forward she was shot by the police one after another three gunshots were fired at the 73 year old Matangini Hazra with each gunshot her voice chanting bande mataram got louder and the tricolor that she held in her hand went higher she died with the tricolor held high and still flying The parallel Tamlu government incited open rebellion by praising her martyrdom for her country and was able to function for two more years until it was disbanded in 1944 at Gandhi ji's request. Post independence in 1977, Matangini Hazra's statue was put up in Kolkata. It was the first statue of a woman put up in Kolkata in independent India. Her statue now also stands at the spot where she was killed in Tamluk.